Hey guys, Fear 880, and today it's getting cold outside. It's time to winterize the Bayliner 175. This video, this is my opinion on how it should be done according to what I've read, owner's manuals, and so forth and so on. So, what I've got is I got my uh, fogging oil and my fuel stabilizer, and I got my shop vac. Dun da da da! What's the shop vac used for? I'll show you here in a minute. You'll like this one. It's really simple. So here in a minute, I'm going to add my fuel, fuel stabilizer before I do anything. And then I'm going to continue on and so forth and so on. So without further ado, let's do it. Does it stink? Mm -hmm. It stinks. So we're going to do four ounces. Because I've got at least a half a tank of fuel. Sure. All right. And that is done. So next you're going to remove the nut that's securing the flame arrestor to the carburetor. Be sure to take this washer off before removing the flame arrestor so it doesn't drop down into the bilge area. So next what you're going to do, lower your stern drive. I've got my son helping me with the video on some of this. So what I just did was I lowered my stern drive right before it touches the ground because you don't want to put any extra strain on your universal joints inside your bellow area when you're doing your winter adjacent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the hose. We're going to run it up to temperature for about probably five or ten minutes. right now is we're running the boat on the on the uh, muffs and we're gonna run it for probably about five five to ten minutes at least long enough for the thermostat to open up and also for the TKS to um, go ahead and shut down the main thing that I see on a lot of YouTube videos is people will add their fuel stabilizer after they've already winterized everything and fogged the engine that does absolutely no good to stabilize the fuel that's left inside your carburetor which is the main reason why a lot of the idle jets and the accelerator pump jets getting clogged up. Okay, once everything has been brought up to temperature, we've ran the engine for about probably seven minutes now. It's had plenty of time to recirculate. I'm gonna raise my throttle up just a hair. Right there. I've got my fogging oil. Just gonna do a little bit at a time. Bring it back down the idle. That's it. It is that simple. So wait a second, how are you gonna drain the block and put antifreeze in there? Okay, first of all, depending on your circumstances and everything, you can drain the block on a lot of the new Merc cruisers by simply just using the little quick drain system that's right here. And basically all you do is you would press this tab in you remove the hose and you can lower it down to the bilge to drain your block and also your manifold. I am very, very OCD. I've had several boats that have had rotten floors, rotted transoms and everything. So I like to keep my bilge absolutely spotless. I've told this over and over and over again in videos that I've done in the past. So what I've done in the past with my severe OCD is I use a shop vac. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect um, first my block drain and I'm going to stick the hose inside my shop vac and I'm going to turn my shop vac on and suck all the water out of the, uh, the block very nice and clean and then I'm going to do it on the uh, exhaust manifold up. Right, so now I'm going to switch over to the exhaust manifold hose the same thing. Hey guys, Fear 880. Well, as you can see, it is done. Now, 
people use uh, RV antifreeze because it's non-toxic. Some people use car antifreeze, some, but a lot of people use those contraptions where you can pump the um, antifreeze through the outdrive and circulate it through the system. That's fine and dandy. I've heard so many other people say don't do it that way, just the follow instructions on Merc Cruiser by just simply draining the block and draining the manifold as per the owner's manual. Um, and yes, the most easiest way you can do it is just drop those two lines and drop them into the bilge. Now, this only applies for the Merc Cruisers that have the quick um, drain system on them. A lot of the older ones, you don't have that option where you have to remove the drain plugs from the engine block and from the manifold or do the other contraption by doing an antifreeze. Also, don't forget about your battery. I didn't show y'all in here about me disconnecting the battery and the reason why I haven't done that yet is because hopefully we'll get some warmer weather where we'll be able to still use the boat. But everything else is already done. I got stabilizer in the tank so I don't have to do that extra step and realistically it only took us about seven minutes to complete everything. So thanks again for watching. Click, subscribe, like, whatever it is up there and uh, Happy winter boating. I don't know what this winter's going to be.